Hey everyone, it's Ospan here. Uh, I decided to remake the tutorial since it took me a long time to talk about random stuff the last time. So I'm not going to do it th in this one. So it's going to be shorter and a bit more clean. Alright, so let's get straight to it. First off, you want to download the VLC Media Player for Windows. I suggest you download the EXE. doesn't matter which one you download. Um, important is that you install it in the custom path for the Windows drive. Else, Livestreamer, the program which is required to uh, watch Twitch streams in VLC, uh, might have trouble finding it where you have it installed. So make sure if you have problems, uh, if you want to avoid problems, install it in the custom path on Windows. Drive from ESC, I don't know what your drive is, but just install it in the custom path. Then we continue on to Livestreamer. You want to look for the download button. It's always green like this. And if it's updated, then it might be a little further down. So you have to scroll down and see where it is. In this case, the second entry is this one. But we want the most up-to-date one. So we are just going to download this one. As I said, if it isn't there, scroll a little down, you will find it. So download this one and install it too. But also install in the following order. Install VLC Media Player, install Python, and then install Livestreamer. Uh, download Python. Python is not... 100% necessary to download, but it's really helpful if you have slight problems with Livestreamer. And if you have any errors or problems with Livestreamer, make sure you download Python before you try to troubleshoot it by yourself. All right, so after you installed, uh, after you download and install everything, the Livestreamer will pop up a, the question if you want to check the configuration file. Um, you want to do this if you don't have the VLC Media Player installed in your C drive, like in your Windows drive. This is my Windows drive, so um, I should have VLC here, but I don't actually have it on my uh, E drive, I believe. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's not important. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to find the path of your VLC Media Player and uh, insert it in the configuration file of Livestreamer. All right, so this makes sure that you don't run into any problems and that Livestreamer can find your VLC media player. Okay, so that's basically it. After that, you have to do the following. And I'm going to paste the, the links and the command for the CMD in the description so you can find them easily. So go ahead and search in the Windows bar down here for CMD and then press enter once. This should pop up. And Livestreamer is already installed at this point. So what you want to type in is really easy. Livestreamer spacebar. Then you want to look for the stream that you want to watch. Uh, let's use Dying Light. Oh shit, Dying Light, I want to watch that stream. <laughs> oh shit, I want to watch that game. All right, so just copy the link for Solar Poppin. And you need to make sure that you don't use uh, Control V because this will happen. Simply use right click and insert. And then another spacebar, and then you select your quality. You can use uh, low, medium, high, or I always choose best. So you type in best, and the stream selects the best quality possible automatically. And you press enter, it should load for, I don't know, two or three seconds, and there you go. There you have the stream in uh, very good quality without any buffering issues. And now we get to the the part where some people had problems, okay? This is really easy to resolve. If the Livestreamer puts out an error that can't find your player, then you have to do, as I said, find the configuration file for Livestreamer and set the custom path for your VLC media player. That shouldn't be too hard. And if you have the problem that the stream stutters or whatever, you use the arrow up key on your keyboard in CMD. You just close VLC and then you press the key, uh, the up arrow on your keyboard once, then you have to command again. And you just repeat this until your your stream doesn't lag anymore. The reason for that is the following uh, Twitch servers that distribute the stream to you are different. Like, and it's a different ones. So if you reach one that is very crowded or uh, used up or in a lot of, lot of trouble because many people watch stream from this particular server, uh, you just retry until you get a one that works better, all right? That's all you have to do. Just restart a few times. And if you have any other issues, the best thing that helps is simply restarting your computer. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. And also, if you have questions, post them in the comments. I answer most of the time.